What up YouTube? Today will be a quick video just showing you and proving to you that phones from now on, Verizon, is uh, factory unlocked. So one of the phones that is very desirable is the Note 3. Particularly, I had a couple people uh, in person and online in Google Plus ask about what phone is this? Where'd you get it from? Where'd you get the gold one? i never seen it in my life. Blah blah blah. Does it work with T-Mobile? Does it work with Sprint? Does it work with AT&T? Um, here's just a very quick video showing that. So, I'm going to show you what service I have. Um, you're going to see here that obviously it's running LTE. You can see here that it is Verizon. I'm using 21 gigabytes of space. I have unlimited data plan. And I also have AT&T which on here. Why? Well, I'll show you in a second. Basically, all you have to do is have service through AT&T and obviously an unlocked smartphone. Uh, one of which that Verizon has. So, Galaxy S4, Note 3, iPhone uh, 5, 5S. Um, those particular phones for sure work uh, with this method I'm about to show you. So, one, you're going to need an AT&T SIM. It doesn't really matter what the SIM size. Um, but since this particular SIM will not fit a Galaxy Note 3, you have to get an adapter. Um, they get them for pretty cheap. Uh, the good ones you want to get is Nosy. I'll put a link in the description where to get that. It's very easy and it doesn't come out. Like I'm basically throwing this at the phone, it's not coming out. A very good adapter. I think I paid like five bucks, um, including free shipping. So, very good SIM adapter. So. Um, I didn't really prove too much that I'm on Verizon network right now, but I promise you I am on Verizon right now. Let's go to the settings to just confirm that for you. Uh, more settings. We're going to mobile network. Uh, then we're going to here. Right now it's on global, but we can set it to LTE. Here's signal sync, just showing that I am getting signal to prove it, and I'm on CDMA. If you go to access point, you can see it is Verizon internet. This is the A and uh, the A and T settings, so you'll see that screen in a moment. So, first thing you do, obviously, is power down your device um, and have a SIM card. Make sure you have an adapter that it will fit. Once it powers down, I will uh, show you what to do after this. Okay, so basically, uh, like I was saying before, make sure you have an adapter to make the SIM card work. You're going to have, originally, if it's a SIM from an iPhone 5 and up, it's going to be basically a nano SIM. And you're going to, this adapter makes it a micro SIM. So Verizon um, version or variants of the Note 3 or just a Note 3 in general takes a micro SIM size. Um, so the next thing you need to do is obviously you need to take the battery out because you can't access the SIM without taking the battery out. Um, also, um, so the SIM is not spring-loaded, so you just have to pull it out like that. And uh, let's pop the AT&T SIM card inside here. Um, I think I did it right. Yep, fuck. Sometimes the SIM may pop out of the adapter. Make sure you put it in correctly because if it doesn't, um, the chip can fall out. It can get stuck in the SIM slot, and there is a latch that make it permanently stay in there. And you can basically just fuck up your phone. Make sure you don't do that. Um, put the battery back in, obviously. Now, I'm making this video because a person commented and saying, oh, I wish I had this for AT&T, or oh, I wish it worked for AT&T. So I'm basically answering his or her question. I'm also showing you um, what to do if you guys have or have in possession a Verizon unlocked phone and you have AT&T service or you want to use it as a global device or you want to consolidate having two smartphones like a Verizon one here as you can see and an AT&T one so you actually can do that once the phone boots up you will see that in the notification that there will be no signal right away and then when you swap down the status bar it will eventually say uh, non AT&T or non Verizon SIM as you can see here non Verizon SIM uh, unknown source but up top here, you'll see there's somewhat a service, 
actually it's searching for servers so let it boot up a little bit um, if that doesn't automatically change to global what you want to do is go to the settings you're going to want to go to more settings then you want to go to mobile networks you want to go to networking mode change it to global then what you want to do is go to access point names um, now these are preset ones I have here. I will put in the description the settings you'll have to do, but basically go to plus um, and you have to fill out these credentials now. And I'll screen in the, in the description somewhere in this video, I'll post the things you'll need. Um, I actually have a couple presets. The one I use is either AT&T or L, uh, LTE 4G. Um, from what I've done research on, you can only get um, LTE service if you root the phone. So. I will still get uh, AT&T service, but it won't be LTE, it'll just be HSPA Plus, which isn't horrible, it's just not 4G. So give it a tick for it to get signal. There you go, you see here, it will pop up as H+, Plus, which stands for HSPA Plus. Uh, let's just do a quick speed test so you guys can see that. Um, speed test. Um, and let's begin the test. Should get around 30, 40 megabytes download, 15, 17 upload. Um, that's the average I usually get. Right now, it's not looking good. But you know what? That's up on Verizon, so in here, it might be a lot less. Because remember, this is not LTE. This is HSPA+. Plus. Um, so do a, uh, we do a series of tests and see what's your average speed. Remember, guys, this is not LTE. This is basically 3G boosted. So, you know, HSPA+. Plus. Just to prove that I'm not, I don't have shitty service, um, and being like, well, you guys are faking it, blah, 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 he has a rooted phone, or blah, 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 I will prove it to you. So, let's go to Root Checker. No idea, I do have it. Um, so, as you can see here, I'm going to go to here, verify root. Sorry, this device does not have proper root access, so look, it's not rooted. Here's my build number and a kernel that I'm running. About phone. Here you go. Uh, it's on 4.3, and that's another reason why I can't read it, because the version before this, uh, you could read it. So, sucks for me, I didn't really research that. Now you've seen a speed set for that, I'm going to come back and show you the Verizon speed test, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so here we go for the Verizon part, I'm going to do a speed test. I normally get between 30 to 50 download, um, 10, 20 upload, so let's see what it gets here. So we're already above the 30 mark, um, it's trying to reach a 40 mark. If you do it every once in a while, you hit 50, uh, but usually between 30 download, well, 30 to 50 download, and then uh, 10 to 20 upload. Depends what time of day, obviously, um, how much time to do it, you know, uh, your reception, and everything like that. Right now, I have full bars. Alright, first test is about almost 40 uh, download and then 12 upload. Let's try that again, so we'll see how good this does. It's trying to reach 40 right now. And again, this is on Verizon LTE. 4G service, baby. And this is why I never use Wi-Fi. If all you're asking me, how the hell do I can accumulate over 20 gigabytes of data every month, it's because of this. I never use Wi-Fi. I always use LTE because it's so much faster. Let's do one more test. Let's see if I can get a 50 score for you guys. 50 download. All right, so about 42 download. Let's get about a 15. Can we get a 15 upload? There we go. Ooh, 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 it's going down, and it's going down. Alright, alright, I lied, but let's do one more test and see if we can get 50 and 20 upload. Doubt it, but let's get about 50 to 15. Mmm, won't do 50 this time. But it's going over uh, 30, so that's good. It's getting close to 50. 46, I almost rounded to 47. Wow, that's going all over the place. Upload's going all over the place. Going to 8 to 10, 11. Anyways, as you can see, LTE is extremely fast, way faster than HSPA Plus, which is not even 4G because it's just a little bit boosted. Uh, there you go, there you go. A Verizon Samsung Galaxy Note 3 factory unlocked, uh, and it does work for AT&T. The plan I have for AT&T, which I forgot to show you here, because um, I do have service, I have a 2 gigabyte plan, this is a concession line only access, so if you work at like Apple or you work at Verizon in the connected area, uh, which is like computers, tablets, and mobile, 
um, you get two gigabyte plan for ten dollars. Very cool. Basically, at the end of your bill, it's about thirty six dollars. So fucking awesome. If you don't believe I have an AT and T account, I will prove that to you as well. Go into my AT and T. Here we go. So AT and T. So yeah. So I hope you guys liked this video um, that's just showing you that you can in fact use Verizon phones for AT&T service. It does not get LTE without root access, but it will at least get HSPA Plus, which is you know good enough for me. So I hope you guys liked. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and peace.